What's up guys, so I'm here to give my spoiler free thoughts on Shaft. I am of course talking about the sequel to the 2000 movie which is just titled Shaft. And here we um, find out that Shaft, Samuel L. Jackson's character, has a son. And then this movie um, focuses primarily on, you know, that story. I'm like, okay, so he has a son and then how does that, I mean, where, in what direction did he go with it? And I have to say... Um, after watching that first movie, I did not feel like it, like, I hope they make a sequel. I hope they make a sequel. I did not feel that way. And when I found out that they, this, this sequel was made, I still didn't feel like, okay, I, I feel like this sequel need, needed to happen. And I will say this though. I did enjoy myself from beginning, middle, and end. I wasn't sure if I was going to because the trailer was, um... It was, um, wasn't that, it didn't fill me with excitement. We're like, oh, snap, I mean, they made a sequel, it's about fucking time, it's been 19 years, what the hell? Uh, but honestly, I'm surprised they didn't make a sequel sooner. I mean, I, I was almost certain they were going to, but, I mean, oh well, but I did, like I said, I did enjoy it. And this movie has way more humor than you would expect. And, um, and I gotta say, there are a couple times where it, it, I was not really, I did not find myself really impressed with the humor, but for the most part, I did enjoy it. But I just felt like, um, I don't know, they, they just got carried away with it. And and I would say that if you were to take a shot for each time uh, Shaft says motherfucker, you know, like how um, Samuel L. Jackson says it so beautifully, I guarantee you will not make it through this movie of how many times he says that. I guarantee you, for each shot that you take every time he says it, nah, no, you you, you won't even make it halfway through. <laughs> you won't. I promise you that. But um, but yeah um, and with the way his son is being portrayed in the movie, um, I don't know. I mean, I mean, he is the polar opposite of Shaft. So I'm just gonna say this. I mean, there's three generations of Shaft men in this movie. I mean, as you can see from the trailers, there is the OG Shaft, the Richard Roundtree. And then there's Samuel Jackson, um, Shaft, you know, or, you know, the second. And then there's his son. Well, they call him JJ, but we'll just call him Shaft the third, whatever. So when it, when those three come together, I mean, it, I have to say, it could have been better. But I, it was fun to see. But this movie could have been, I, I mean, could have been better. You know, it could have been like, okay, this really does feel like it would be a good Shaft sequel. I mean, it was entertaining, but I just felt like the first movie, the 2000 movie, had, you know, had it well balanced, where the movie knew when it wanted to be serious or when it needed to be serious, and when they could throw in a joke here and there, and then when there can be action. I mean, it was all, you know, like, it was all put in the right place. Here, they just kind of go crazy with it, but I think that was the direction that they were going for, and if that's the case, then I think they succeeded. But, um, yeah, I have to say by the end of the movie, I did really, really enjoy myself. And, um, but, I mean, you know, I, w there are changes, there are some changes that I would have made. And, um, I mean, it had, you know, a lot of talented actors, you know, like they have a very talented cast here. But, um, I don't know. It just didn't feel like, or at least the portrayal of his, of Shaft's son, you know, like fit into the story. I mean, I guess that's the idea that they were going for. But, um, I'm pretty sure that he would turn out much differently if he were, like, if, you know, if, if things went in, in another direction with the story. And, um, like, if he were raised just by Shaft himself. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he, he would have had, I don't know. I guess it wouldn't have a coming of, that much of a coming of age story, I guess. But I still think that there's a possibility that they could do that. But for what they were going for here, they did a, you know, they did a pretty good job with it. I still don't feel like this movie, you know, that the sequel needed to be made. And and I have to say the trailers, you know, like, like I said, the trailers weren't that impressive. And I didn't really see any trailers on TV, you know, like from building up to tonight. But still, I mean, it was still for entertaining for what it was. So with that all being said, I'm going to give... Um, Shaft, um, hmm, um, 
Well, I mean, I'll give it to... Um, what the hell? I'll give it three chair spins out of five. So here we go. One, two, three chair spins. I'm pretty sure if I watched it again, I'm, it may be bumped down to two chair spins out of five. I just don't think it's going to hold up as good as it did for me tonight. I mean, that's just in my opinion. But if you are looking for a fun time and you want to enjoy yourself and you just want to have a just have laughs, nonstop laughter, then hey, check this movie out. And if you already decide that you already do want to see this movie, then by all means, go check it out. You may enjoy it much more than I did. And I'm not saying I didn't hate it. I enjoyed it more than I thought I was going to, but it wasn't it wasn't movie of the summer. It didn't have that kind of vibe with me. But um I will say that it you know, it's a pretty good time for Father's Day. So it's a you know, it could be a fun Father's Day movie. So yeah, go I mean, yeah, that's all I that's I can only speak from my personal experience. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed my review for this movie, make sure you thumb up the video and make sure you click subscribe if you're new to the channel. Make sure you click that notification bell so you can be updated on my latest videos. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Later, guys.